The struggle for power begins in D.C. as an evenly divided Congress heads back to work. President-elect Bush rounds out his cabinet with three more nominees, including one Democrat. And we'll take a sneak peek at the newest set of Survivor. It's early this Wednesday morning, the 3rd of January, 2001. From the heart of New York City, on Fifth Avenue at Trump Plaza, it's Bryant Gumbel and Jane Clayson. This is The Early Show on CBS. And good morning. Welcome to The Early Show on this Wednesday morning. Feels like a Monday to me, though. Really. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is your first day back. <laughs> well, yeah. Kind of happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year to you. Uh, did you bring it in uh, in wonderful fashion? I brought it in like this. Serious? And you? Yeah, I'm a loser. I you fell asleep. Till 11 minutes before midnight, I fell asleep. Come on. Loser, and you? I know, it was very nice. We had a very nice time. Really did. Hey, look, lots to get to this morning. We're going to uh, check the uh, Clinton's finances and look at what kind of money the president figures to make in the years ahead. We'll talk with an author who claims she can teach women how to get married in less than a year. We'll show you why you're actually getting less of some of your favorite snack foods at your local market these days. And George Clooney will be along as well. Jules? All right, thanks, Brian. Well, the most closely divided Congress in...